Hey guys! So as you might know, I was a part of the 2013 Booktubeathon, which ran from the 15th of July all the way to the 21st, so it's now officially over. I had so much fun being a part of it. It was an absolute joy to see everyone come together and read so many books in only seven days. They even created a Twitter account for it and there's a lot of cool activities that they hosted. So all in all, it was such a great experience and I hope you guys had a lot of fun as well. The funny thing is, is that my mentality before going into this was just to have fun, to get myself to read more, and just to go with the flow, but once I started and I began reading, I became pretty competitive and my mentality was that I needed to complete all the challenges. I have never in my life read this many books in one week, so it was so interesting to see what I had to do to complete these challenges and see how far I can push myself in terms of reading. So all in all, it turned out that I completed all seven challenges. I know, I know, even I'm surprised in myself that I completed them all because I asked you guys on Twitter how many you thought I completed and a lot of you didn't say seven so in the end of this video I'll be talking about those of you who did get it right and I'll be sharing with you guys what you thought that I completed so I thought that was funny as well. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you were able to complete in terms of pages or books or challenges. I'd love to hear your experience with it and what you were able to complete. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about what I read, what happened during the readathon, and how I hardly got any sleep because I read so many books. Anyway, I'm still tired, hence the t-shirt. Um, yeah, I'm a little run down from Booktubeathon, but it was all worth it, so I'll be talking about my experience and how much fun I had and what I read. Also, anyone who can correctly guess what's on my t-shirt or what reference it's making, I give you double brownie points. You kind of have to be a little bit of an art nerd to get it, but if you can, thumbs up to you. Alright guys, so the first book that I picked up for the book to with on was The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa and by reading this I completed two challenges and those were you have to reread a book and you have to read a book that's 500 pages or more. I finished this within the first day and a half, so within that time I already finished the first two challenges that I had planned on completing. As you guys know, I love this book, it's so captivating and I can never put it down. I knew things were going to happen but I still forgot what had happened at some point so it was even just as exciting as reading it for the first time and it was just such a cool experience and I'm so glad I reread this. So by reading this from the start, it brought my page total count to 504, so it was a really good start and I'm so glad that I started the Booktubeathon with this because it really got me motivated and it really got me anxious to read more books. Alright guys, so the second book I picked up for the Booktubeathon is called Sever and it's by Lauren DeStefano and this is the third and final book in the Chemical Gardens trilogy. Since this is the last book in the trilogy, I was able to complete another challenge which was to complete a series or a trilogy, so by reading this one, I checked another challenge off my list. In total, this book has 371 pages, so if you combine that with the immortal rules, my total page count went up to 875. I literally couldn't put it down, it really was great. I was kind of disappointed with the ending in a way, but all in all, I thought it concluded everything pretty well and wrapped up really nicely. I gave this around a 4 out of 5 because I felt some things could have been different and some things were holding me back from just really getting into it and really loving it, but like I said, it was hard to put down because I wanted to see how it ended. So yeah, that's the second book I read for the Booktubeathon, and now I'll move on to the third. Alright guys, so the third book that I started reading during the Booktubeathon was Zombies vs. Unicorns by a bunch of different authors. And yes, I plan on reading this for my TBR video, and once I started, I realized that I probably wasn't going to finish this book. The first few stories in this book were actually pretty good. I got into them somewhat, but then further on into the book, I was really just not into it whatsoever, and I didn't want to read this at all. There are so many great authors who wrote a story in this book, but I just couldn't get through them. I, it was so weird. It was such a strange experience because I was reading it, but I wasn't absorbing it, and it just flew over my head and I just didn't like them whatsoever. So by reading 144 pages of this, it brought my overall total to 1,019 pages. So I did get some reading done with this, but it didn't count towards any of my challenges. So the fourth book that I finished during the Booktubeathon, I don't have a physical copy of because it's an audiobook, and that was of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. So by reading and listening to that, I completed two more challenges. 
One of those challenges was to read a classic, and another one was to listen to an audiobook. So by listening to Pride and Prejudice, I did both of those. Listening to an audiobook is actually something I've never done before, so it was a cool experience. What I liked about it was the woman who did it. She did such a good job with the accents and the voices, and that's what I really loved about it. Even though there's so many female characters, she did them in a way so you knew who was talking at what time, and it was really easy to follow. All in all, I love the story. It was amazing. I just love the book. One of the first classics I read in a really long time, so it was so refreshing to see that type of style and how Jane Austen wrote, and it was just a really phenomenal experience. That was the only flaw I had, it's just like listening to it is a long process, but with that being said, I still love the book. I gave it a 5 out of 5, and I really, really enjoyed it. So Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen was 278 pages, so by completing that, it brought my overall page count to 1,297 pages. Alright guys, so the fifth book that I finished reading during the Booktubeathon is called 13 to Life, and it's by Shannon Delany, and this is a book that's been on my shelf for so long, so that's why I picked it, because one of the challenges is to read a book on your shelf that's been there for a very, very long time. I had not planned on reading this, I was actually going to read Zombies vs. Unicorns for this challenge but as I said before I couldn't get through it I wanted nothing to do with it so I found this I realized how long this has been on my bookshelf so I picked it up started reading it and I couldn't put it down the plot was exciting I really liked the characters and just everything all together really had me captivated in it the romance was great and there's just something that just had me so hooked with it it's not the best book out there but it was so enjoyable so this book allowed me to complete one more challenge it was 308 pages so that brought my overall page count to 1605 I'm really glad I picked this up because now I want to read the sequel and the rest of the books in the series it's so great I really liked it I definitely would recommend it so the next book that I did read is called White Cat and it's by Holly Black and this book has been on my shelf for so so long so it also completes that challenge as well even though I already did it but I just thought I'd read another book that's been on my shelf for a long time. I wasn't really into this book I kind of had to force myself through it but all in all it was okay the main character was all right but the plot was very very cool. I gave this 3 out of 5 so I liked it but I didn't love it. So White Cat by Holly Black was 310 pages and that brought my overall total page count to 1,915 pages for the week. I only had to complete one more book in order to read 300 pages a day and I will now show you what that book was. Alright, so last but not least, the final, final book that I finished during the Booktubeathon was Bruiser and this is by Neil Schusterman. This book was phenomenal. I'm so glad it was my final one. It made me so happy and just made me so grateful for the whole experience at the Booktubeathon and I just was just happy with this book so it just made me more happy. I loved it, it was fantastic and absolutely amazing. This book was 328 pages which brought my total to 2,243 pages for the whole week. If you divide 2,243 pages by 7 you get 320 pages per day so that's the average of how many I did per day. I'm so happy with what I accomplished and I'm just excited that I finished all the challenges. So all in all, I read 2,243 pages, I completed 6 books, I read them all, I finished all the challenges, and I'm very very happy that I was a part of the 2013 Booktubeathon. So now I'm going to show you all the Twitter followers who are able to correctly guess how many challenges I was able to do. All their links will be down below, so please go check them out, and yeah, these are all the people who got it right. so that's it for my video definitely let me know what you were able to accomplish down below in the comments I'd love to hear what you read how many pages you were able to get through and all that fun stuff so once again thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video bye